Welcome to 8.1.2 part two. We're gonna continue. This is a good video to go back to if you just need the overview of how to do this process. In part one, we reviewed what, how to do a generic rectangle, a factor using a generic rectangle, and we also talked about how to use a diamond problem. And so this is one of the first problems that we did in this section was 8-13b, where they said, we want you to find the factors of 3x squared plus 10x plus 8. Now, I have colored this so that you can kind of see the process, okay? In this box of the generic rectangle is where we're going to put our squared term, our x squared term, also known as the quadratic term. In this box is where we're going to put the constant term. In this box of the diamond is where we're going to put the linear term. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we put 3x squared here. Put the constant term of 8, and it is positive there. Put the linear term of 10x here. Now, the reason we want to do this is you will remember from section 811 that in this, um, in the generic rectangle, if I multiply the diagonals here, I get 140x squared, multiplying that diagonal. Multiplying this diagonal, I also get 140x squared. And that is always going to be true in these generic rectangles. And so, if I'm given this and I want to be able to factor, I need to have a term that goes here and here. Remember that those related to our linear term. So like in this one, negative 35x and negative 4x added gave me the linear term of negative 39x squared. So, I need two numbers those two numbers need to add to 10x, but they also need to multiply to the same value as this diagonal because the diagonals have the same product. And so we're going to take these two numbers. So first step, plug in those three numbers. Now the second step, take these two numbers and multiply them. Gives me 24x squared. Okay, I'm going to take that number, I'm going to put it in the top of my diamond problem, 24x squared. So basically the diamond is just helping us to find two numbers that fit the situation we're talking about. They have to add to 10x and they have to multiply to 24x squared. Now, since that is a product, write that up here for you so you'll remember this is going to be the product or times and this is going to be the sum or when they're added. I'm going to try to find two numbers that will do that by listing the numbers that will multiply to 24x squared. Okay, I know that both numbers have to have an x so I'm just going to deal with the number itself. So let's see, what will give me 24? I can get 24 by doing 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, 5 won't work, and so it's going to be one of those sets or pairs of numbers. Well, let's see what... Uh, which one will do that? Well, I'm looking for a 10. I know that I'm basically going to add these instead of multiply them. That would give me 25. That'll give me 14. That'll give me 11. And this one would give me 10. So I want this one. They both have to have x. And so I'm going to try 4x and 6x. Okay, let's see. 4 times 6 is 24. x times x is x squared. That's good. 4x plus 6x is 10x. Now, these are the two numbers that are going to go over here. Okay, now, 
Um, I'm going to look and see if any of these will work better with the one right next to it. 3x, I think 6x would work better. It doesn't matter. If you were in class or have seen this before, it doesn't matter which one is, goes where. Um, but because of the way I start, I like these two numbers to match and have some kind of factor in common. Okay, so I put those there. And now I'm ready to factor it um, using the method that, that I talked about before. What number does 3, 3 and 6 have in common? The lowest, I'm sorry, the greatest common factor of 3 and 6 is the number 3. What is the greatest common factor or the smallest number, smallest power of the variable they both have is the first power, so I'm going to do 3x. Okay, 3x times what is 3x squared? should be just x because 3 times 1 is 3 and x times x is x squared. 3x times what gives me 6x? Well, I know I just need to multiply that by 2. Now I'm going to work on this one. x times what will give me 4x? That's going to be 4. And if I've done it right, 2 times 4 should equal 8. And it does. So now I have my factors x plus 2 and 3x plus 4. Okay, and so that's the process that you use. Notice again, 3x squared times 8 is 24x squared. 4x times 6x will also be 24x squared. And so here's, we've got a little bit of time, so I'm going to go one more time through this just so you can kind of see the process. I put these three numbers in and I color coded the boxes so you would know. The x squared here, the constant here, the linear term here. Then I multiplied these two as my second step, got 24x squared, and moved it over to the top of my diamond problem. Okay, now I have enough numbers because I need those two numbers to do my diamond problem. I've listed my factors to help me, but if you can do it mentally, it's even better. And I knew that two, these two numbers, 4 and 6, would multiply to 24 and add to 10. Then I took these two numbers and put them over here in these two boxes, and I tried to find numbers that would have a greatest common factor here found the greatest common factor of these two, which is 3x, and then use this to figure out what I'd have to multiply to get those two numbers, then what I would have to multiply this by to get that number, which was 4. Then this on the outside and this are my factors. I hope this helps. Um, in 8.1.3 we will learn some special cases and how to deal with some times that uh, we may not get everything we want. And so that's basically the overview. Now I've got about a minute and 30, and so I'm gonna try to do one more from our lesson today and see if I can get it done. If I don't, we will run out of time. Let's see, they said they want that uh, in part D, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna do two X squared. I know that's gonna go there. Okay, plus 7x, plus 6, okay, here we go. Now, I left the pluses out, I'm getting feeling a little stress on the time, but let's see if we can do this pretty fast. Okay. 2x squared times 6 is 12x squared. That goes into here. Two numbers that will give me 12. Um, and add to 7 are 3 and 4. So 3x and 4x. Let's see, 4x will go well with that. And 3x will go well with that one. Okay. And now I will find my factors, which are... 2x, let's see, times x, times 2, 
to get that times 3. And if I've done it right, 2 times 3 is 6. So my factors are 2x plus 3 times x plus 2. Hope that helps. Goodbye.